This is Cameron Chai bringing you another episode of Azo TV and today I'm speaking to Kevin Dahl from Morgan Instruments and he's going to tell us about their new Morphology G3 ID system. Thank you Cameron. As Cameron mentioned, uh, this is a brand new system from Malvern Instruments. It's the G3 ID. It's built around our classical G3S uh, platform, which features onboard sample dispersion. And what we've done at this point is add the capability of doing Raman spectroscopy to uh, a, a traditional particle size and particle shape investigation by optical microscopy. A couple of the features of the new system, of the new hardware that is, we have an upgraded joystick that allows us a lot more control uh, a lot more fine control uh, over the positioning of the stage. We have some safety features that have been added on so that any of the Raman laser light will be locked out uh, if the system is open to the air so it's very safe for our user. And of course what we've been able to do is upgrade our front end on the software as well. So what you'll see here is one of our more traditional views so quite a few different particles that we have that we've detected in an experiment. This is actually a dry powder inhaler that we've done uh, in one of our development labs here in the U.S. And we've, we've taken individual images of each one of the particles and identified exactly where they are in X and Y space. And what we can do after the fact is have the instrument go back and take a series of Raman spectra. Those Raman spectra are indicated by the uh, little prism looking color bar here. Okay, so each one of these particles has a, has a Raman spectrum associated with it. We've built that into a, we've built a couple of different things into a library here, corresponding to the active pharmaceutical ingredient and to microcrystalline cellulose. And what we can have the software do for us then is once it's identified each one of these particles and taken a spectrum of it, we'll correlate versus this library to give us an exact identification. So we can see that each one of these particles is actually an API because the spectrum match here and if we scroll down we can see where there's lower correlation where the spectrum is much more similar to MCC so we know that unequivocally we've identified these particles as being either API or microcrystalline cellulose. Now this type of instrument can be very useful in a lot of different application areas. Uh, we've, been, we've had a lot of interest uh, from customers who are in the dry powder inhaler uh, type of market where you have a mixed system of two different, uh, two different materials or three different materials and you'd like to quantitatively know how much of each one is there. Uh, we've also had some very, very serious interest from people who are in uh, foreign particle detection. So looking for contaminant particles in a, in a uh, dry powder type of a system, we can go in and we can easily identify what the foreign particles are, where they are in the system and, and tell the customer exactly what these particles are. So what about, has it got application in detection of counterfeit pharmaceuticals? It certainly could be uh, useful in detection of uh, counterfeit pharmaceuticals as far as being able to identify whether or not uh, the product is made up of the, uh, shall we say, the innovator's uh, original formulation. You can tell certainly that there are different things there uh, that aren't expected to be there and what proportions they're in, so yes. All right, Kevin, thanks very much for telling us about your new Morphology G3 ID system. And if anybody wants more information, they can find that on your website. That's correct, malvern.com. There's plenty of information there. Fantastic. All right, Kevin, thanks very much for your time. Thank you, Cameron.